Now I'm a pumpkin farmer, and as a pumpkin farmer, I even dream about my pumpkin patch. And I was thinking about a moment earlier in the day. I was outside watering my pumpkins, as I do, when I took a closer look. I wondered what it would be like to be tiny and walk under this patch like it was the great forest of Lothlorien. Still thinking about this later on, I got onto stream and heard about a new survival game called Grounded, where you are shrunk down and try to survive in a backyard when you're the size of an ant. Hey, nice to meet you. I knew that with this game, I could at least begin to find out what I had been wondering. Little did I know that there would be a great tale of redemption awaiting me. Okay, we're doing whoa. So I started the game, picked the hardest difficulty since I'm an epic gamer, and began my story alone. Are those roots? Nah, <laughs> can't be. Oh no, I'm tiny. My first taste of how tiny I truly was. This baseball towered over me. I was minuscule. Track the signal to its source. The game next pointed me to some initial objectives. Someone had to have set up all this sciencey stuff here. I was following their missions for now, but soon a self-imposed mission grounded in my real life would emerge. Something truly special. Hey, look at the size of that egg. Get back here, doggy. Oh, oh. Hey there, buddy. Oh. Another one. Oh no, he's got no! Hey there, buddy. Okay, nope, nope, no, actually we're leaving. Oh, okay. After a very brief foray, I died. Time to begin again. Here we're gonna try that again. And with a better understanding of just how dangerous this tiny world was. Ladybug coming oh, through. That's a big old chonker. Oh, they're friendly. Oh my god. Nope, nope. Please, please don't do it. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Stay back. They're just kind of curious creatures. Oh, okay, that's cool. Our objective right now, find more evidence. More evidence. Oh, I will clap this thing. Absolutely ruined. Wow, what is that? I found a mysterious contraption in a small clearing. This looks like some kind of Game Boy or something. Oh, I can jump on it. Yeah. Oh. Unblock the obstructed laser. I noticed that there were three lasers that were connected to this device. Two of them were currently impeded. I had to fix them. So that one's working, and this one's busted. Maybe if I bonk it. Heck off, buddy! Bonking it is not the answer. Bro! I saw a blade of grass blocking one of the lasers. It stood above me like a great tree. I had to find a way to chop it down. Unanalyzed. Uh, we're going back to spooky science tent. I returned to the small science outpost to analyze the peblet I'd found. This would allow me to craft basic tools. Beep, beep, boop, boop, bop, beep, beep. I need all these sprigs. I wandered a bit of field and found the base of the other laser. Oh my god, look how annoying that is. There were pesky mites chewing at its cable, thus rendering it less than functional. I'd have to kill them off. Oh, lots. Oh, okay. Get from here, you little, you little rat. Absolutely bopped. Ooh, this is getting spicy. The backyard stretched out before me all the way to the horizon. All right. Can I hop to this? Oh, okay. hi -yah! Oh, there's more of you little hackers down here. Now, I lacked the materials needed to craft a torch, so I would have to return here later. What is this thing? Hey, hey buddy. Clogs now. Uh huh. Honk. He seems friendly. This. Ooh, that's some water! Tasty, nutritious, delicious water. I found a discarded container of mints. I had a feeling this would be important down the line. Peblet Axe. Oh, he's so cute! Hey there, buddy. Mm. <laughs> I don't want no problems, boys. Let's get some stuff. Yeah! All right. Next, I chopped down the blade of grass blocking the laser. Oh, they're, they're bullying that creature back there. Stop that. Oh, man, that was, that was brutal. I'm going to build a little house right here. Unload. Timber! Now night was falling, and I wanted to construct a small lean-to so that I could sleep through the night. I need food and water, honestly. What is this? Is this a little chunk of water? Juice. Now with some food and water, I went to turn in for the evening. I'm scared. 
All right. Okay, so we got two of them. Next, I went to farm some materials to construct myself a real home. <gasps> Weed stem. A glider? Oh, oh my god, that thing is... Okay. Prepare to die. You're not safe, buddy. <laughs> oh, murdered! Hungry, all right. I'm eating, I'm eating. Oh, hello. Yoinks. So I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. I crafted a workbench, then a torch, tools, and some basic grass fiber armor with all that I'd gathered thus far. I'm becoming an armored gamer. Heck off, dude! You got a flower up here? I found a thistle plant. Now I could make a bow and arrows too, so I did just that. Oh, you can kind of, you can kind of park, oh. I set up a little storage crate by my workbench. Damn. Ooh, Give me a plate of that's good grub. I slept through the night and awoke in the morning once again. Right. Bro, stop messing up my stuff. You guys are bullies. Bro, what are they doing? Are they yoinking? Are they yoinking? Oh, these little rats. These little rats. With my loot getting pilfered through by nosy ants, I knew I had to construct a better dwelling to store my stuff. So I got to it. Oh, I need a lot of grass planks, dude. Yeah. Bro, are you yoinking my food? <sighs> I think my house is done. Looks great. We've got a beautiful base. With my home now complete, I set off to the site of the third laser to complete the objective of activating all three. We got a big Bertha. Hello. We're going in. Of you idiots anymore. What are these yankees? I think this should be working good now. The wire was now clear of mites. I returned to my home to investigate the mysterious machine nearby. Look at my little house. Look how cute it is. Oh, that's a little spooky. What is it killing? Oh my! <laughs> I must go. My people need me. There had been an explosion near the base of the oak tree. That's where I was going to investigate next. All right. I say we go to sleep. Damn, I'm a killer. Oh, he's yoinking my stuff. Ants were still poking at my stuff. Can it just reach through? Do I need to kill it? Gotta get to quiet. Oh, Jesus Christ! So, ant helmet. With pieces of the ant I killed, I crafted a stronger helmet and then set off to the tree. To the tree! Oh, can I bonk this? Yeah. Now with the tree, I farmed an acorn, which I could use to craft even stronger armor. Oh, yeah, down here. Hello. I found another research station and went inside to check it out. After doing some analyzing, I turned to leave. Ah! A spider! These were monsters to me and towered over my tiny self. This was terrifying, oh, knowing that go. these creatures roamed this yard alongside me. Oh, Jesus. Oh! oh, it's really angry at me. Juice box and a big lake. Oh my god! That was no orb weaver like I had just seen. That was a wolf spider. Undoubtedly far stronger and faster than an orb weaver. I couldn't imagine fighting one of those. What's going on in here? A tiny science lab was ensconced within the tree. This is like the Deku tree. Big brain. And a <laughs> Bro, heck off! Oh, it's a... I'd been killed by some guardian of the lab. I raced back from my house before my stuff could despawn to try again. Interdesting. All right. You're done, buddy. Bop. I'd killed the lab's robotic guardian. There was a friendly robot in here as well. I got your back. E Give me a quick second. Burgle! I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. 
You found Burgle. Now with this message, I realized I'd finished the story mode that had thus far been added to the game. From here on out, it was just basic tasks that I would receive. Oh, now we've got like dailies. I was thinking that maybe my adventure had run its course. Oh, how wrong I was. Night had fallen as I left the lab. I was headed home when I saw something. Oh, Jesus. So that's not friendly, I don't think. A wolf spider meandering nearby. It was enormous, but I put it out of my mind and got back to my base. Here's home. Nice. Now, it was later that day. I'd logged off and I was in my kitchen when I glanced out the window and noticed something. So there's a new gamer who lives in my house. Kind of lurks back here a little bit. Crikey, what a beauty. A wolf spider in my house. This seemed like fate. It was so small, I examined it closely. That's actually kind of incredible. Look how speedy this gamer is. So if I tap on the glass... Whoop. One tap on the window sent it scurrying back into cover. This creature was tiny compared to me, but in Grounded it was massive. I was inspired now. I was gonna take on and kill a wolf spider in-game, but I had a lot of preparations to make if I had any chance of taking one down. I logged back in-game and began. All right. You guys don't think I'm ready for the orb weaver? I went to see how strong an orb weaver was. Wolf spiders were stronger than them, but I'd get a good reference point. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! Oh! Really almost died. Spiders were tanks. I needed some serious weapon and armor upgrades. First, I crafted some armor from the acorns I'd farmed earlier. Damage, stun, speed. My next priority was to get a better melee weapon. The next better weapon was an ant club. I needed to kill soldier ants to be able to craft it. Oh, blocked! Now my skill at blocking was increasing. This was gonna be crucial if I went toe to toe with a spider. What is that thing? Ah! Run, dude! My first run in with a bombardier beetle, and far from my last. I'm in a can. And it's pretty grand. Oh, he's got I, I don't bars. Know. Shake it up, and it'll explode ya. Chill with your mama, got a bone Let's go to the west side of the map. I haven't really been over there yet. Oh, this is like a barren field over here. Uh, so that's a stink bug. Oh, is it fighting it? That's a wolf spider, isn't it? A wolf spider was fighting a stink bug. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, wow. Get over here! No, 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 no! I now had an idea of just how terrifying and powerful wolf spiders were. I have no idea how you'd even begin to kill that thing. I recovered my loot and scavenged items from the dead stink bug. I had a feeling they'd come in handy. Oh. Yoink! Oh, this is a rake. I found a rake resting on a rock and ran up the narrow pole. This is sort of epic. I saw a bombardier beetle below and decided to bombard it with arrows. An easy kill, or so I thought. Oh, that's, this isn't that strong. How did it get more health? I learned here that if a bug de-aggroed since I was unreachable, it would regain all its health. So it would be tricky to take big enemies down at range. So next, I decided to go get the necessary materials for my ant club. I delved into an ant tunnel. There would be soldier ants here and I needed their mandibles for the club. Oh, he's a tanky boy. You're going to get bunk. Gib is. Woo, boy, okay. Soldier in, look out! Give him a shablank or two. I'm joking! <laughs> there is a nice kid. We did good. With the materials needed to craft the ant club, I returned home to my workbench. All right, let's make our ant bonker. It's a powerful weapon. Now armed with my upgraded club, I was running by the mint container I'd seen earlier. I could open it. Oh! I learned that if I gathered some of this mint, I could make an extremely powerful mint mallet. However, to farm this mint, I needed an insect hammer. So I need the insect hammer. And that required stink bug parts, berry leather from blueberry skins, and a boiling gland from a bombardier beetle. I had my work cut out for me. Are they friends? This is so wonderful. Best friends forever. Jesus Christ. 
Hello there. Oh my sweet lord, baby. Is that a wolf spider or an orb weaver? Wolf spider. I'm not gonna lie, guys, that looks exactly like a wolf spider. I have a little wolf spider gamer who lives outside my window. Sometimes I tap on the window and he gets really scared and runs into his little gamer hole. <laughs> Why are you bullying me? Now, I already had the stink bug parts from scavenging earlier, so next I would get berry leather. I had to go to the blueberry bush and harvest blueberries. I'd do the bombardier beetle gland last. It was the trickiest item. Oh, wait, that's a field station, I think. I poked around in the spider infested blueberry bush and farmed some berries. Arrows away! This is kind of spooky. What is going on over there? Mm, I don't like it. Ah! No! No, please don't mess this up, please! Night fell and I made a speedy getaway on my dandelion glider. Uh, I'm gonna run out of hang time, I think. Is that like parachuting? Kinda. I'm gonna be okay. Absolutely maneuvered. I crafted a lean-to and spent the night by the bush. I'm ready All to right. eat my pillow, I'm so tired. When morning came, I shifted my focus to taking down a bombardier beetle. Oh, Jesus. I'd found one. I could try to take it down at range. I was lobbing arrows at it. This was going smoothly. No, man! It had de-aggroed and gained all its health back. Now this beast was tricky because its attacks were sometimes unblockable, and being solo, that would almost guarantee death. I needed to get a bit cheeky for this one. Screw it. Yeah. I ran back to recover my loot, then returned home and went to sleep. When morning came, I had a visit. What is that outside? And inside we go. Oh, sweet lord. A wolf spider was right outside. I didn't move a muscle. Huddled in my home, this was horrifying. Next, I crafted a smoothie station. These were like potions that I could take to heal and regen stamina. I crafted a few, then headed out to keep working on killing a bombardier beetle. Now, there had been a bombardier beetle I'd seen by the rake earlier. Wait, if it's still aggroed... Well, this might be really good. I found the perfect angle. This could be it. I let fly arrow after arrow. Let's go, baby! I killed the bombardier. Not in the most honorable way, but I needed it dead for me to be able to take on my wolf spider target. I looted it, then returned home under the cover of darkness. We dine in heck! The insect hammer. I crafted the insect hammer as morning came, then headed over to the mince container. Big bopper hammer. But doink. Oh, there we go. I will be minty fresh forever. There she is! Tier three! Now finally, I built my mint mallet. Oh, it even gives you a little shing. I'm sick of these spiders bullying me. Armed with my new weapon, I headed out to explore. Now I had a full set of acorn armor, which was decent, but not great. What is this? A ladybug. I could test out my new mallet on this tanky creature, and even get some ladybug plates to make myself even better armor. Just after this encounter, I saw a ladybug in my house and felt sort of bad. It's a little chonker of a ladybug. The ladybug part. <laughs> now I wanted a ladybug chest plate, but needed more berry leather to craft it. So I returned to the blueberry hedge to quickly gather some. Oh boy! Okay, hello. Please, be closer. Okay, that is a wolf spider. There was a wolf spider here. I had my mallet, but hadn't yet upgraded my armor. I wanted to take it on. That had been a lot closer than I thought it would be. We almost did it! I was nearly ready. I returned to my body, looted it, and spent the night in a nearby lean-to. I can't be the only one feeling tired. At first light, I ran home to craft my ladybug armor. I was surely ready to take on a wolf spider now. 
super disorganized. These look like testicles, I'm gonna be honest. Find us a wolf spider, gamers. I want to go for it. Here, bitty doggy doggy. Began wandering the yard, hunting for any signs of my quarry. Ah. Oh. A sleeping orb weaver. A baby spider. This was not good. I'd killed an orb weaver. Now the wolf spider would be a greater challenge, but I was confident. I hunted across the expanse of the yard until I found my way back to the oak tree. Oh, another orb weaver. A rustling below me. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Finally a wolf spider. Now was my chance to stand toe to toe with it. It's like going into the tree. Oh, yep. I was gonna head it off and ambush it inside the hollow trunk. Prepare for battle! Oh, this is huge! <laughs> oh, the big hit, big hit, big hit. Big hit, big hit. No! One more! Yes! I'd finally done it. I killed a wolf spider. What a feat. Spider venom? Ooh, boy. Oh. I left the tree victorious and headed home. I entered my humble abode and reflected. See, in Grounded, this wolf spider was a massive enemy, but in real life, it was just a little spider, going about its business in its web and catching flies. It wasn't so bad. I went to check on my real-life arachnid friend. So I came out today, and the web is just flapping like crazy. It, I don't see Spidey anywhere. This may be the end of a saga. I felt like it had given me a greater appreciation and then just been on its way. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I'm live streaming on my Twitch right now. Come say hi, the link's below. And if you want to see more of my pumpkin patch, go follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. I post updates there. And give my thumbnail artist a follow too. This has been your friend Wellen, ending an adventure as a tiny wanderer in a great backyard with a new spider friend. I'll see you next time.